Phil Halls and Deron Wynn in the middleweight division. I mean, I, I've probably done this prediction like three or four times in the past. I keep on doing this prediction. This is the third time, and I, I hope the fight doesn't get canceled again because that just seems like what it keeps on happening. But Phil Hall's 11 wins, three losses, beating ranked Nazardine Imavolf by decision, beating Kyle Dawkins by decision, and Jacob Malkoon by first-round knockout while only losing way back when in the WSOF Ultimate Fighter Dana White's and Tennis Series days. Uh, back in 2017 and 2016. Since then, his striking has really improved. His wrestling has also definitely improved. And uh, in a fight here with a guy like Deron Wynn, only way Deron Wynn is gonna uh, is gonna win. Deron Wynn's gonna win. I'm, I'm joking. The only way he's gonna win the fight is if he goes out there and just grinds out three rounds of wrestling, takes down Phil Halls, and literally just controls him for three entire rounds. It's not going to happen. He's not going to go out there and control Phil Halls. Phil Halls is also a legit wrestler himself. I believe he was like a junior college champion uh, for wrestling in like Colorado or Oregon or something like that. He's, he's a legit wrestler on his own right as well. Um, and striking-wise, we all know he's very, very solid as well. Putting on a really good striking fight with Nazardine Imovov, knocking out Jacob Malkoon. So, I, I think this fight is mainly going to sp be spent on the feet. Maybe the Ron Wynn can land one or two takedowns, but he's not going to control Phil Halls there and Phil Hall is having a, a, a half foot height advantage over the Ron win and even more than that in reach as seven and a half inches of a reach advantage I mean the Ron win is going to keep on coming forward he's going to eat the jabs eat the right hooks uppercuts and all that type of stuff and I think eventually he's going to get dropped I think Phil Hall is in this fight is going to land a good shot on Deron Wynn and knock him out. Deron Wynn hasn't really been finished uh, ever in his UFC career or in his whole entire career, if we're going to be looking at that. But the last time Phil Halls went up against a straight-up wrestler was Jacob Malkoon, and he caught him in like 30 seconds, knocked him out in the very first round. I'm going to go that as my prediction. Phil Halls in the first or second round by KO. 